How are we doing today? It is Wednesday, March 27th, 2019. How are we doing today? How are we doing tonight? Wherever you are in this great big world, hope you're doing all right. So, Tuesday, um, a friend of mine on Facebook, who is a super serious, devoted Christian, like... He will not watch or listen to anything by a gay person or a transgender person. And he automatically assumes that all transgenders are gay. He likes to preach tolerance, peace, and love, yet condemning others for gender and sexuality orientations that aren't in, you know the Bible, that are God-approved, and other religions. He shared a link yesterday called, uh, There Are People Who Think the West Invaded Iraq Over a Stargate. Now, a link to that will be in the description. Basically, the article is saying that Saddam Hussein was restoring a ziggurat from the Sumerian age to restore a stargate to the Anunnaki when they came to Earth. Now, I'm not just a practitioner of the Necronomicon. I'm also a believer in the Anunnaki creation theory. I click with that a lot more than I do with the Abrahamic religions. And so when, you know, the United States found out Saddam Hussein was doing that, they conspired to make this imaginary thing to stop him. Now, the article goes more in depth, but, again, you want to read that? It's in the, in the description. But my friend said, love conspiracy theories, LOL, when he shared it. Now I'm thinking, ouch, but okay. So I commented, and he has yet to respond. And I know he has seen my comment. He's just avoiding me. Because he's content with believing That God just poofed everything into existence. Poof, Adam and Eve. Which is fine. You know, I'm not going to criticize him on that. You know, I'm going to be the more tolerant one. (laughs) Said spitefully. So, I said, well, Mesopotamia was the cradle of civilization... The, first, the Fertile Crescent, and such. While I don't agree or disagree with Saddam restoring the ziggurat, because I don't know that much into it, and I really don't. I'm 50-50 with this article. You know, I don't agree, but I don't disagree. I'm in the middle. But there has been reports of soldiers protecting the History Museum and the artifacts there. So when the Iraq war started, I've heard from multiple sources in the news and talk radio that when the war started with Iraq, soldiers went in to protect these artifacts and museums to keep it from getting destroyed. Whether it's to preserve ancient history or to obtain the Anunnaki technology, is uncertain, but I, for one, who is a believer in the faith and traditions of the Sumerians and their gods and goddesses, whether they're alien or not, can say Stargate wasn't that great of a show and was more Egyptian than Sumerian, but not far from each other. Because the writer of this article, even though he has done his homework for 
the history lesson. He kept using references to Stargate SG-1. And I don't like that show. I like the movie, but I never liked the TV show. And I'm like, ugh. Now, I know SG-1 was a little bit more trying to expand the universe, but at the end of the day, Stargate was more towards Egyptian than Sumerian. Now, I'm not saying that it didn't have elements, but... Again, more Egyptian. Now, Samaria was the first civilization in the Mesopotamian region. But, again, that empire fell, and others rose, like Babylon, Egypt, Akkad. So, I mean, just looking at SG-1, or Stargate in general, you'll, you see it has a more heavily Egyptian theme. But... That's just my opinion, and it was not that great of a show. It re it's really not. If you like it, cool. I don't think it's that great of a show. Kind of boring to me. That's why I like the movie. The movie gave us a beginning, a middle, and an end. And I ended my comment by saying, Yes, I believe the Anunnaki are our creators, but in a serious tone, and not in a light-hearted sense, like everyone else. Like all these conspiracy theorists on YouTube, these UFO nutbags, and all that. Mainly because, you know, like I said, probably because I'm a practitioner of the Necronomicon. You know, and this is half of my history in that book. But hey, at the end of the day, it all comes down to personal belief, but there's no need to be a dick about it, you know? Like, I was like, ouch, but whatever. And it's just one of those things where this just fortifies this agenda that Christians are producing out there. That they are being attacked. That they're the victim. And yet, they're going around doing all this shit. Uh, you got nut jobs like Emily Stevenson. You got uh, Call to Uprising. You got Bill from Occult Science. You got all these losers that hide behind a Christian title. And yet, do these asshole things. But it's whatever, you know. It's whatever. But, uh, that's just really more of a... Not really a rant video, but just more like a, uh... Amusing, you know. A venting news or whatever the fuck you want to call it at the end of the day I don't give a fuck I just wanted to vent so questions comments concerns please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below uh, be sure to check the description uh, if you want to follow me on social media the links are in the description be sure to hit that bell icon to stay informed uh, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you all later. Love you all. Bye.